Gut. Thank you, Mayor. Board of Commissioners public meeting Tuesday, February 27, 2017. The time is 844. Pursuant to the requirements of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, notice of this meeting was published in December 1, 2016 issues of the Nutley Sun and the Herald News and the December 2, 2016 issues of the Star Ledger. A copy of this notice has been posted on the Nutley Town Hall Bulletin Board and a copy is on file in the Municipal Clerk's Office. Commissioner Rogers. Here. Commissioner Tucci. Here. Commissioner Evans. Here. Commissioner Petraco. Here. Mayor Scarpelli. Here. All present, Mayor. <coughs> we have uh, regular Board of Commissioner <coughs> meeting minutes for December 20th, 2016, December 29th, 2016, January 3rd of 2017, and January 17th of 2017. I need a motion, please. I'll move. I need a. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? With the exception of uh, December 20th. Aye. Commissioner Evans? Uh, yes, except for January 3rd. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. We also have executive session minutes for November 1st, 2016, November 21st of 2016, December 6th of 2016, sessions 1 and 2, December 29th of 2016, January 3rd of 2017, and January 17th of 2017. Move it. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye, except for December 6th and January 3rd. Commissioner Petraco? Except for November 1st, right, Commissioner? Exactly. Thank you. Mayor, Scar Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. And that's it for, for minutes. Communications? Communications. Commissioner... Uh, Mauro G. Tucci has submitted an events application for a street concert on Franklin Avenue between Vreeland Avenue and High Street for Thursday, January 15, 2017 from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. with a rain date of June 16, 2017. Need a motion, please. Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. The uh, Nutley Chamber of Commerce has submitted an event application for their annual 5K run to be held on Sunday, May 7, 2017 from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. The Nutley Irish American Association has uh, submitted an event application for their annual St. Patrick's Day Parade for Saturday, March 4th, 2017, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Move it. Thank you. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. The Friends of Phoenix Center Foundation, Inc. has submitted an application for a social affair permit for their casino night fundraiser for Friday, April 28, 2017, from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Rotary Club has submitted an application for a social affair permit for their Beefsteak Tricky Tray event, which will be held Saturday, April 1st, 2017, from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. And the Knights of Columbus... Uh, Holy Family Council has requested permission to hold a Sunday raffle on May 28, 2017 at 1.05 p.m. at Holy Family Church. Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? 
Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. And that's it for communications, Mayor. Reports, Commissioner Tucci? Yes, I have a shade tree report for January of 17. Bills, Madam Clerk? Yes, bill list for Tuesday, February 7, 2017. Public Affairs, $106,966.02. Revenue and Finance, $7,481,388.67. Public Safety, $59,443.37. Public Works, $185,041.20. Parks and public property, $855,013.30. For uh, total payroll, $799,688.11. For a grand total of $9,487,540.67. Move the bills. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. And that's it for Bills, Mayor. Public comment on agenda items only. Madam Clerk, we read the um, notice. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should approach the microphone, provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person shall limit their address to three minutes. All remarks of the Board and its individual members may be addressed to the Mayor. The Mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate members of the board. Dialogue between citizens and others addressing the board shall be allowed unless the mayor or presiding officer or the majority of the membership of the board shall determine that the interests of decorum and or the expeditious conduct of municipal business are being adversely affected by such dialogue. Anybody like to address the board of commissioners on agenda items only? Penny Landry, 135 Lakeside Drive. Uh, I have a question concerning Resolution number 32-7 and resolution number 33-17, um, Vera Dean Environmental Consultants, which in the pre-meeting it was said that this was for uh, removal of tanks. Could you please provide the location of the tanks for the change order for $1,296 and also the tanks or the properties that fall under the contract for $15,000. I can answer that. There are several. This is, a, this is cleaning up the paperwork, and this is for the tank that was located here, all right, and in this building. It was off on the side in the driveway. So that's what the first ordinance is for, and the, the change order for 1296.25. And is the, that additional to the original contract? Yes, it is. And what was the original contract? It was 44935 So it's now $45,000 to remove one tank from the side, the side driveway? It was one tank. It was the excavation. It was getting rid of the, uh, of the soil, the contaminated soil, and it was all the reporting and all the cleanup that, that, that's associated with that as far as the paperwork is concerned. Okay, thank you. And then the... The second one is to continue the work, and primarily now we've, we've, we've achieved uh, success in just about all of the buildings with the exception of the uh, Public Works Department, the garage. Um, so we're, we are concentrating on that now to get rid of the tanks um, that are there. I believe we still have an oil water separator that's in the ground, and we are beginning that process so we can be free and clear of this finally. Okay, so these are additional contracts to the environmental contracts that we have entered into for the Davis property and the Ciccolini property? These have nothing to do with those properties at this point in time. We have additional environmental contracts for those two properties. Uh, I know of no environmental contracts for those properties. You don't know nothing, of any? No, nothing that I'm dealing with right now on either the Davis okay. property Does anyone here or know? the Ciccolini because we did Well, I would be the one that you would ask that to because okay. I'm, the, I'm the parks and public property guy, so that comes under the purview of public property. So I'm telling you unequivocally, <laughs> right now there are no contracts for either the Ciccolini property or the Davis property. But there were last year we did in, in pass resolutions for environmental contracts for the Davis and the Ciccolini property. No, not correct. Go ahead. Counselor. We retained one company to do a review relative to diligence on the Davis property. The Ciccolini property, they removed the tank at their own expense prior to closing. So okay, so the, Ciccolini, the owners of Ciccolini removed their tank prior to closing on the property. Correct. Thank you. Anyone else want to address the Board of Commissioners on agenda items only? 
Seeing none, could I have a motion to close the public comment? So moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Board of uh, Commissioner announcements. Uh, we had a uh, visitor today in Nutley, and I'm going to let Commissioner Petraco uh, update us on that. It was very, very well received, and thank you for uh, arranging it. Thanks, Mayor. We did. We had um, Mayor, I'm sorry, we had um, Governor Christie come to Nutley to Washington School this morning. Um, I want to thank our mayor for attending. Um, it was for our lead program, which is to um, educate our children not to try drugs, to stay off drugs. And I have to say, our police department um, has done an unbelievable job. Mike Bedilla asked me not to mention his name or Steve Rogers' son, Steve Jr. Um, but I just feel it in my heart that I have to mention their names because they have taken the lead on this. It is um, really second to none what the Nutley police officers have done to engage with the students and our children around this community to extend a hand of friendship to these kids this way they know who their police officers are and instead of running away from them, they will be running to them. And just to make a um, really sound comment of what I learned today from the governor and from the lead program, and maybe the mayor will remember this, is when Governor Christie um, said to the sixth grade class at Washington School, you were the most important people in the room not the reporters, not the elected officials, but the children of the classroom, all the sixth graders. And how do we beat these opiates and drug abuse and heroin in, in this town and every town across the state and in America? By our children. And if we could convince our children not to try drugs and not to do them, that's how this epidemic will stop. So if there's a way that we could educate our children, and if it starts at home, of course, of not to ever try drugs, recreational or for any other use, but to stay off them. Just think 20 years from now what this state will look like. So again, Mayor, thank you. Commissioner Tucci, thanks for your support. Obviously, I know Commissioner Evans couldn't make it. And um, Steve, thanks for always being there for us in town. I'd like to say that the LEAD program under um, Commissioner Petraco, which probably didn't want to say, but I'll say it. You, you've become a model for the rest of the state, and I understand it's headed in that direction. And I'll tell you what, uh, Commissioner Petraco, I, I sit here, and I remember when you took office, you really dug your feet in with regard to uh, drug abuse. You really did, and you've been very consist consistent for the many years that you've sat here, and you didn't let up. You did not let up, and you started with the whole program and all types of other programs. So. I'll tell you what, it's just proud to be here sitting here with you and knowing what you've done to help the uh, young children of the community after all these years. So God bless you for that. Thank you. Yes, I'd also like to start off by, by commending Commissioner Petraca. You've done an excellent job. Uh, the leadership that you've shown in the Public Safety Department is unparalleled, uh, and I think you have an excellent department. I think your people are working at a level that uh, many communities can't reach, and I want to encourage you to continue that. I know you will, and I want to congratulate you again on all your accomplishments. I'd also like to thank everyone um, for a, who attended last Thursday's Relay for Life kickoff event. It was one of our most successful kickoffs in the, the, the past 10 years. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, Nutley has raised as a community um, over a million dollars. I believe it's a million eighty-one thousand dollars. And for a community this size, that's it's an unbelievable accomplishment. And I'd also like to commend Mayor, if I might, uh, the Nutley Irish. I know uh, President McEmory is here with us this evening. They had their Grand Marshal dinner on Thursday night, which we all attended and support them because of the wonderful parade that they put on. And not only just the parade and the festivities of celebrating St. Patrick's Day, but also for all the community involvement that they're involved in. All right, they, they contribute to the Relay for Life. For, and, um, I know they contribute to the HOPE program. And Commissioner Rogers, I know that they, they, they're always involved in your health department program. So whenever and wherever they can help, they step up. So Mr. McEmory, thank you and thank the Nutley Irish for all that you do for Nutley. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, I have to say about today's program, uh, seeing the rapport that the two officers had with the 
graders it was really enlightening and, and satisfying and to have the governor come and choose Nutley highlight our program here at Nutley as a great honor not only to the great great to see it all come together today um, I have one announcement there will be um, electronic recycling February 18th from 9 to 1 in parking lot 8 which is a uh, on William Street behind the Waroko station. So all, all your TVs, other electronics can be dropped off between that time. That's Saturday, February 18th. Any other announcements? Resolutions. Commissioner Tucci. Yes. Whereas Township of Nutley entered into a contract with Viridian Environmental Consultants, Upper Montclair, New Jersey, for environmental services via Resolution 12216 on May 3rd, 2016, for a contract not to exceed $44,935. And whereas the Director of Parks and Public Property has recommended the following change order. Change order number three, environmental services in the amount of $1,296.25. Funds are available from Capital Ordinance Number 3344B and have been certified by the Chief Financial Officer, said certification being attached to this resolution. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley County of Essex State of New Jersey that change order number three in the amount of $1,296.25 be and is hereby approved. I move the resolution. Second. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Whereas the Township of Nutley has a need to acquire specialized professional services as a non fair and open contract pursuant to the provision of NJSA 19 colon 44A 20.4 or 20.5 as appropriate. And whereas the Township of Nutley through the Department of Parks and Recreation has a need to acquire specialized and professional services for groundwater investigations. And whereas the anticipated term of this contract is for 12 months from the date of the contract award. And whereas Viridian Environmental Consultants, Upper Montclair, New Jersey, has submitted a proposal indicating that they will provide such services for a sum not to exceed $15,100. And whereas Viridian Environmental Consultants has completed and submitted a business entity disclosure certification which certifies that said corporation has not made any reportable disqualifying contributions to a political or candidate committee in the Township of Nutley in the previous one year, and that the contract will prohibit Viridian Environmental Consultants from making any reportable contribution through the term of the contract, whereas funds are available from account number 3323K in the amount of 15,100 and have been certified by the Chief Financial Officer said certification being attached to this resolution. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley County of Essex State of New Jersey enter into a contract with Viridian Environmental Consultants as described herein. Be it further resolved that a business disclosure entity certification and the determination of value to be placed on file with, the, with this resolution. And be it further resolved that a notice of this action shall be printed once in the Nutley Sun in accordance with local public contracts law. I move the resolution. Second. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. That's all I have, Mayor. Commissioner Evans. Thank you. Whereas the Township of Melly holds tax certificates, more specifically set forth in the annexed tax foreclosure list, which pertains to property within the Township of Melly. Whereas the Township of Nelly has determined that said tax certificate shall be foreclosed by summary proceeding in REM. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners, Township of Nelly County of Essex, the tax certificate 15 00024, as shown in the annexed tax foreclosure list, now held by the Township of Nelly, be foreclosed by summary process in REM, as described by NJSA 54 5 104 29 as amended and pursuant to the rules of civil practice of the Superior Court of New Jersey. So moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Petraco. Hmm. I don't think Whereas resolution 2117 entitled full tax exemption was adopted by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Benelli at their meeting held on January 17th, 2017, whereas said exemption was denied by the Essex County Tax uh, Board of Taxation, uh, primarily due to a uh, hiccup with the deed, which will now be reprocessed. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nellie, uh, County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that resolution 2117B, and he is hereby rescinded, and James 
asked La, La, La Fazo not be granted full tax exemption from payment of property taxes on Block 4901, Lot 2, known as 21 Oakcrest Place. So moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Be resolved by the Board of Commissioners, Township of Nelly County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that the Treasurer be and Chief hereby authorized to refund overpayment of water charges uh, for Block 900 uh, slash 1 slash C4051 for a total amount of $3,906.32. Uh, so move. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. There's the Code Enforcement Department received zoning to certificate fee in the amount of $250 from Ms. Janet De Palma for property located at 527 Franklin Avenue, whereas it has it was determined by the Code Enforcement Department that the applicant uh, does not require a zoning certificate for the property located at 527 Franklin Avenue, whereas funds will be available from account 7013011104, and now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners, Township of Nelly County of Essex, State of New Jersey, the Township Treasurer is hereby authorized to refund zoning certificate fee in the amount of $250 to Ms. Janet DePalma. So move. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Thank you, Mayor. I just have one resolution that I'll read by title. Resolution authorizing the Township of Nutley Office of Emergency Management to accept funds from a subgrant award of the Federal Fiscal Year 2016 Emergency Management Agency Assistance Program funding and for the Chief Financial Officer of the Township of Nutley to amend the budget and certify the availability of the funds. I move the resolution. It's number 3917. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. That's all I have. Thank you, Commissioner. Lieutenant Tempo, can I read the, the first uh, resolution by title? Yes. This is uh, on behalf of the Board of Commissioners, Resolution 40 17, Resolution <coughs> of Township Commissioners, the Township of Nutley authorizing an escrow agreement with PB Nutcliffe. Master LLC providing for payment reimbursement of township expenses relating to the potential redevelopment of all or portions of the remaining half on the Roche development area. Move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Where is the township of Nutley pursuant to NJSA 52 colon 34 dash 62 C 139? Made by resolution and without advertising for bids, purchase goods or services through use of a nationally recognized and accepted <laughs> cooperative purchasing program that has been developed utilizing a competitive bidding process by another contracting unit in the state of New Jersey or within any other state when available. And whereas the Commission Board of Commissioners Township of Nutley passed resolution number 284 16 on November 21st, 2016, authorizing the purchasing agent to purchase certain goods or services from approved National Joint Employers Allowance. A vendor and uh, pursuant to all conditions of I the individual contracts the year 2017 commencing con January 1st 2017 through December whereas the municipal clerk Township of Nutley has advertised the township notice of intent to award a contract under a national joint powers alliance cooperative in the January 19th 2017 issue of the Nutley Sun whereas the Township of Nutley Department of Public Works intends to purchase a Kenworth T374 by 4 chassis for single axle stainless steel dump body patrol truck package and related accessories from National Auto Fleet Group 490 <coughs> Auto Center, Center Drive, Wat Watons Watsonville, California. A vendor affiliated with the National Joint Powers Alliance, which is subject to all conditions applicable to the utilization of a national buying cooperative. Whereas the Department of Public Works has spent several months researching several 4x4 four four chassis. A stainless steel dump body patrol truck packages and related accessories have determined that the Kenilworth T374 by 4 chassis is best suited for the township needs based on performance, cost savings, and minimal downtime. Whereas the National Auto Fleet Group has provided a quote 
for the Kenworth T374 by four chassis truck and related accessories in the amount of $188,428. Norris funds are available from capital ordinance number 3294G in the amount of $85,000, capital ordinance number 3296A in the amount of $85,000, and capital ordinance number 33G in the amount of $18,428. And that was certified by the chief financial officer that certification be attached to this resolution. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township of Nutley County of Essex State, New Jersey, that the purchasing agent B and she is hereby authorized to purchase a Kenworth T74 by four chassis and related accessories in the amount of $188,428 from the National Auto Fleet Group, who is approved National Joint Powers Alliance Center under this resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Commissioner Evans? Here, Tom. Yeah, yeah, I was on mute. Yes, aye. Aye. There you go. Commissioner Petraco? <laughs> aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Where's the mandatory separa uh, source separation and recycling act, public law 1987, chapter 102, has established a recycling fund for which tonnage grants may be made to municipalities in order to encourage local source separation and recycling programs and where it is in the intent and the spirit of the mandatory source separation and recycling act use the tonnage grants to develop new municipal recycling programs and to continue to expand existing programs. Whereas such a resolution should designate the individual authorized to ensure that the application is properly completed and timely filed. Now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioner of Township of Nutley County of Essex, State of New Jersey that the Township of Nutley hereby endorses the submission of the 2016 Municipal Recycling Tonnage Grant application to the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection which designates Salvatore Ferraro Recycling Coordinator, Township of Nutley, to ensure that the application is properly filed. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Where is the Township of Nutley through the Department of Public Works as a need to acquire services of an engineering consultant as a non fair and open contract pursuant to the provisions of NJSA 19,44A 20.4 or 20.5 as appropriate? Whereas the engineering coordinator has determined and certified in writing that the value of the aggregate services provided by the vendor for the term of this contract will exceed $17,500. And whereas the anticipated term of the contract is for 12 months from January 1st, 2017 to, January, uh, to December 31st, 2017. Whereas Pannonia Associates, 24 Commerce Street, Suite 300, Newark, New Jersey, has submitted a proposal dated December 30th, 2016, indicating they will provide engineering services according to a fee schedule attached. And whereas Pannoni Associates has completed and submitted a business, business entity disclosure certification, which certifies that the said corporation has not made any disqualifying reportable contributions to the political candidate or candidate committee in the Township of Nutley in the previous one year, <coughs> prohibit Pannoni Associates from making any reportable contributions to the term of the contract. Whereas funds are available from account number 7 01 404 200 in the amount not to exceed $165,000 for general engineering services subject to the adoption of the 2017 budget and have been certified by the chief financial officer cer said certification <coughs> be attached to this resolution. Now therefore it be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township of Nutley enter into a contract with Pannoni Associates as described herein be further resolved that the business disclosure entity certification and the determination of value be placed on file with this resolution. Be further resolved that a notice of this action shall be printed once in the Nutley Sun that's with the local public contract law resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Where is bids for the 2017 acceptance of recycling vegetative waste to include leaf and grass clippings were received and opened on January 25th, 2017, whereas the term of the contract shall be for one year from the award date with an option for a two year Two one-year extension subject to availability of funds to the subsequent annual budgets, and whereas S. Rotundi and Sons P.O. Box 1407, Summit, New Jersey, was a low bidder for the removal and recycling of Class B clean wood brush in the amount of $6.75 per cubic yard for the removal and recycling of Class C leaves in the amount of $8.15 per cubic yard, and for the removal and recycling of Class C grass clippings in the amount of $14.69. Whereas the funds are available from account number 701422-209 in the amount of 71,000 subject to the adoption of 2017 municipal budget and been certified by the chief financial officer, that certification be attached to this resolution. 
filed by the Board of Commissioners Township of the State of New Jersey that a contract be awarded to escrow fund the insurance not to exceed $71,000 and that the mayor and township clerk authorized to enter. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nully honors the heritage of African Americans and acknowledges their many contributions to our nation, our state, and our township. And whereas Dr. Carter Goodwin Woodson established Black History Week in February of, two, of 1926, choosing a month that marks the birthdays of two important men who greatly impacted the African American population. Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. And whereas in the year 1976, the observance was expanded to Black History Month celebration of equality and opportunity, 1996, renamed National African American History Month. Therefore, we resolve <coughs> that the Board of Commissioners Township of Nelly celebrates National African American History Month 2017 and honors the many achievements and contributions made by African Americans to our economic, cultural, spiritual development in our nation. And our township. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Mr. Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas rifle applica uh, raffle applications have been received from the following organizations Friends of Phoenix Center Foundation, license number 4 17, on premise 5050 cash raffle to be held Friday, April 28, 2017. Friends of Phoenix Center Foundation, license number 5 17, Casino Night to be held Friday, April 28, 2017. Nutley Irish American Alliance, license number 6-17, on-premise merchandise raffle, to be held Saturday, February 25, 2017. Nutley Irish American Alliance, license number 7-17, on-premise 50-50 cash raffle, to be held Saturday, February 25. Rotary Club of Nutley, license number 8-17, on-premise merchandise raffle, to be held Saturday, April 1, 2017. Nutley Elks, Lodge number 1290, license number 9-17, off-premise 50-50 cash raffle to be held Saturday, April 28, 2017. And Isaac Columbus, number 14712, Holy Family Council, license number 11-17, uh, off-premise merchandise raffle to be held Sunday, May 28, 2017. Whereas the applications have been reviewed and, and approved by the municipal clerk and the police department, now, therefore, we resolve by the Board of Commissioners, Township of Nutley, County of Essex, State of New Jersey. The aforementioned licenses are approved, and the municipal clerk is authorized to issue the licenses. Resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas an application to conduct senior bingo games has been received from the Nutley Senior Service Club to conduct nonprofit bingo games for residents effective March 1st, 2017. March 1st, 2019. Whereas the application has been reviewed and approved by the municipal clerk and the police department, now therefore resolved by the Board of Commissioners, Township of Nelly County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that the license is approved and the municipal clerk be here, be and she is hereby authorized to issue the license to the Nutley Senior Service Club license. 17, I move. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. That concludes the business portion of our meeting. Clark, will you read the uh, notice? Yes, Mayor. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding com community concerns should approach the microphone and provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person shall limit their address to five minutes. All remarks to the Board and its individual members must be addressed to the Mayor. The mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate member of the board. Dialogue between citizens and others addressing the board shall be allowed unless the mayor or presiding officer or the majority of the membership of the board shall determine that the interests of decorum and or the expeditious conduct of municipal business are being adversely affected <coughs> by such dialogue. Would anybody like to address the board of commissioners this evening? Penny Landry, 135 Lakeside Drive. Um, the first thing I'd like to say is I'd like to congratulate uh, Commissioner Petraco, Mayor Scorpelli, Detective Padilla, Sam Carella, all of those who were involved in having the governor come today to our town and also for uh, the great things that are being done with the LEAD program. And to add to this, 
I'd like to say that um, I read an article today which touched me by an ER doctor. And basically what he said was, he questioned why are we more worried about gluten than heroin? Um, he said that heroin is now something that children of the middle and upper class should be warned about. Our state of mind in regards to heroin has largely been, I am as worried about heroin as I am about my son being eaten by a lion in my front yard. He continues, as an ER doctor, let me be the one to tell you, the lion is in your yard. Um, I spoke with a 28-year-old Nutley High School graduate two weeks ago. Seven of her classmates have died due to drug overdoses. In a small town like Nutley, seven from a graduating class is really high. So I agree with reaching out to the sixth graders. I also think that we need to expand our reach into our younger and our older adult population because as Governor Christie explained today to the sixth graders, he explained that four out of five heroin users started with prescription drugs. Since September 2016, I have been coming here and attempting to meet with Commissioner Petraco and with the town leaders. I was so excited because finally Chief Strumolo had Detective Padillo call me and confirm that we had a meeting for Wednesday, February 8th. I sent a confirmation email on Monday, February 6th to Detective Padillo, and in it I stated that there would be a Nutley parent joining us, a Nutley district staff member who had had her superintendent, I mean, who had had her principal change her lunch so she could attend, and then also another Nutley citizen homeowner who works in New York who would be joining us by phone. I prepared an agenda that we all agreed upon, and unfortunately, yesterday, I received a call from Detective Padillo saying that the meeting had been canceled. I asked him why the meeting was canceled, and he said that he would not send me an email stating why and that I had to discuss this with Chief Strumolo. I sent two emails to Chief Strumolo and placed two calls to Chief Strumolo and was not returned. I also sent two emails to Sam asking to meet with Commissioner Petraco concerning this, and I, as of this time, do not have a meeting date for myself and the three other adult women homeowners of this community who would like to be involved in some program. So far, um, I have requested that the meeting dates for the Municipal Alliance meetings be made public, and I was told that they are still being scheduled. I have asked about other meetings where individuals, concerned citizens can get involved and have gotten no response. So I am here pleading, begging with you as our town leaders that you open up to that there are many people in this community who want to contribute to programs and issues around our drug problem. It is the lion is in our yard. We have a heroin and a prescription drug problem that is affecting many, many people in our town, and they want to have a voice in how we deal with it. Thank you. Anybody else like to address the Board of Commissioners this evening? Seeing none. Motion, we close. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. And the time is now 9.23. All right, everybody.